Creating and editing a custom page used to require adding custom CSS, HTML, and PHP to your theme files. It wasn't beginner friendly, and if you made a mistake, it could break your WordPress site. That's why our favorite way to build custom pages is with a WordPress page builder like Seedprod. In this video, I'll show you how to create a custom page in WordPress with Seedprod. In this video, I'll be using the pro version of Seedprod. You can go to seedprod.com or click the link in the description below. If you need help getting set up with Seedprod, there's a link in the description where you can install Seedprod and it's a step-by-step -step guide that you can use. So here I have a clean installation of WordPress and we have Seedprod installed here on the left-hand side. Now there's two ways that we can start to create a new page. The first one is going to pages and add new. And then at the top here, you'll see edit with Seedprod. You can simply click this button and start working on your page. The second way, if we come back, we can go to Seedprod and landing pages. If we come down, we have add new landing page. We can go ahead and click this. And now Seedprod will ask you to choose a new page template. And this is a great way to get a head start with these pre-made templates that are designed in-house by our team. So for this example, I'm going to sort this by using the filters here. You can also use the search templates. I'm gonna click on lead squeeze. And I'm gonna go with the floral squeeze page. You can preview these first if you like. I'm just gonna go ahead and hit the orange check mark here and give this a name. Once you give your page a name, we're gonna save and start editing the page. Great, this will open it up into the Seedprod page builder. Now we can fully customize your WordPress page. On the left hand side, we'll see these blocks and these are what make up your page. On the right hand side, you can see your actual page preview. You'll see all of these lines for different sections and rows and columns and blocks. And this is what makes up your website for the layout and the design of it. So for example, let's say you want a, another video or a button, you can just simply select this and drag it into your page and you can click on the block settings here and this will update on the left hand side with all of the settings that you can change. If you like, you can delete this by hitting the trash can here and confirming. So the first thing that I wanna start with is the most dramatic part of the page. It's the background here with the big pictures. On the bottom left hand side, we have the global settings. So if we click here, this is where we can go ahead and edit our fonts. We have our header and body. We also have our colors for our headers, text, buttons, links, and background. We also have our background image itself or the color or the gradient if you wanna change that, as well as some custom CSS. So right here, if we click on background, we can see we have a background image. So you can go ahead and delete this if you like, and you could change the background color if you wanna add a static color, and if maybe you don't want any image whatsoever. I'm gonna change this back to white and I'm going to use my own image. Now I have an image already ready. I'm gonna simply drag and drop it into here and we'll select this and I'll click select in the bottom right corner. The next thing that I wanna change is the white box here. We can go ahead and modify this and you would think that it might be the section but it's not, it's actually the row right here. So we'll click on row settings. We have all of the different settings that we can go with here such as the width. So if you wanna make it wider, you could do that. I'll go a little bit wider here. You could change the background color. You could add another image if you like. You could even change the opacity here by modifying the opacity so you could see the background through it if you like. I'm just gonna keep that at 100. What I would like to do is come under advanced and you have all of the shadows that you could add. So if I add a two time or a extra large, you can see it added a bit at the bottom. And I also wanna come down to the border here and add a border radius. I'll do maybe about 25. This will actually give us the rounded corner look here. Next, I just simply want to modify the content here. There's a logo here if you wanna use it. I'm gonna delete this in this example. And to move elements around, we actually have this little move icon and you can change this and move any block across your page. I'm gonna drop this one right here at the top and we click on block settings and just modify the text. Okay, great. If you come down, you can change the alignment. You can change the font size if you wanna make it smaller on one line or if you want it massive, you could do that as well. I'm gonna keep it fairly large here and come under advanced and then topography options here. You can change the font family, the font size again, if you like, I'll leave that around 60, the line height, letter spacing. This one, I'm actually gonna bold it just so it's a little bit thicker looking. And I'm gonna go ahead and close this. Next, I'm going to delete this here. And then the next text, I'm just gonna modify this text. Great, now that we have our header, we have a little bit of text here. Let's spice up the page a little bit, and maybe add a image in here. So let's look on the left-hand side, we have image. I'm gonna drag this right above our opt-in box here. Similar to the background, I already have a picture set. We're gonna click on block settings. And on the left-hand side, we're gonna choose our own image. Again, I'm just gonna upload a purple book image here. And on the bottom right, I'm gonna select this image. Now this is a little bit too big, so let's go ahead on the left-hand side. We can change the side with the image width here. There we go, I think that looks pretty good. Next, under advanced settings here, I'm just gonna come down to the shadow. We'll go ahead and add maybe a large or a two-time large shadow. I think that lets it pop out a little bit, and I think that looks nice. 
great. Now we have the actual opt-in box here it's, itself. So this is where you can manage the ebook if this is what you're doing. Again, you can create your single page, just about anything. It doesn't have to be about a landing page with an ebook, but this is the example of how you would create one. So if you have an opt-in email form, we can click on block settings. You can customize the fields here for your email, your name, and your opt-in confirmation. We have the size here, the alignment. We have our submit button. Right now it says get free delivery. And there we go. I'll change that to get our free ebook now. You can change the width if you like. We have the font size if you want to make it large or small, whatever you prefer, as well as the background color. Right now I think it pops out pretty nice. We also have this success action. So right now you can just show a message after they click or you could redirect to a completely new page if you like. There we go. I just changed the text here quickly. We have lots of different options for the templates. You can change the look of this if you like. So if you want a darker look or a bottom border look or a transparent, whatever you wish. I kind of like the darker look, so I'll go with this. We also have advanced settings here as well. So you can change the font family, the border radius again for the curved corners. You can remove the inline padding if you like. And we have fields, buttons, spacing, attributes, device visibility, and animation effects. Just note that you can find all of the emails that you capture in this under your subscribers page. If you'd like to connect this to a third-party email marketing service, at the top here you can click connect. And here you can see all of the email marketing services that we offer. We can click on connect for constant contact and you can click on connect new account and then you put your API key in here. These guys will support the API key for you. If you're not sure how to get that, check their documentation or ask their support for help. Then you'd simply click on connect. At the bottom, we have a continue shopping link. I'm just going to remove this and now you're free to add whatever else you like. There's many different blocks here that you can put into your page. For example, I could look for testimonials and we'll just drag this into the bottom. This would be a nice place for this. We'll hit block settings and you could update the name. You can actually put multiple in here if you like. Next, you can come down and choose the image. This will be shown here. This is the profile photo for that person or maybe a company logo. So you can use your own image or you can use a stock photo if you like. And then down here, you can change the name to whatever you wish. Below this, you can change the alignment if you like. You can change the, to enable a comment bubble. So you can see there's a background on that and you can change the background color of this if you like. At the bottom, you have carousel settings. This is only applied if you have multiple testimonials added up here, which again, you can just click on add testimonial to add multiple. You also have advanced options here for all of the normal things for style, spacing, attributes, device visibility, and animation effects. Again, remember that you can add any of these options, these blocks on the left-hand side, such as counters, business reviews, opt-in forms, more opt-in forms, contact forms, payment buttons, whatever you wish. Once you're completed with your design here, you can go ahead and save your page and you can publish this. Let's go ahead and see the live page. And here's what we've created. And there you go. That's how easy it is to create a custom page using WordPress with Seedprod. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you found it helpful, please leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel, and check out these videos to learn more about Seedprod. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next video.